Yeah. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Koi, joined by Char Kirk. Hello. We're gonna look at Vodka Diaries, the official trailer starring KK Minan, Rayma Sen, and Mandira Betty. This comes out January 19th, very, very soon. So mark your calendars if you love this trailer, if you're excited for it, just like we are. So and um, so you can. That was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought that was my phone for a second. Hello? Welcome to Vodka Diaries. ACP, Ashwini Dixit. Are you enjoying these murders? No, I have one. Come on. Crime may be hard. Holy crap. She kissed me. Hey, don't you know what I'm doing? Be Nice try. Sir, mom, make my body hanging. Nahi. Dead body. In some murders, we reach a eighty thousand. So, call and do and that will lead you to Shikha. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, I just cut right. I messed up. Sorry. Where is he? At the window. Oh. I caught you. I want to say uh, one thing real quick and just get this out of the way. I'm not a huge fan of the music that was used in this trailer. What's working for me right now is the strength of the first trailer I saw, mm -hmm. the strength of K.K. Manon's acting, and the strength of just the interesting aspects of this story. Because the way they're doing this, like I've said in the previous reaction, it looks so much more compelling than the Western counterpart that was released earlier this year. The or, snowman. Or in 2017 yeah. or whatever. This still looks really interesting to me. The story looks compelling. This, I, I, I'm sorry to use the same word and be redundant, but like, it does intrigue me a lot, and I do want to watch this. I just don't think the music worked very well. It seemed like it clashed. You know, when we watched the teaser, mm -hmm. that was us, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I... No, seriously, because I... I, I what was it? Am I me right now? No, because... Who? I, what is life? No, because I edit so many of the videos, and I see the trailers that that I sometimes have not reacted to. That sometimes like, you think that you're in the trailer yeah, reaction. Yeah, exactly. And then I'm like, I wasn't in the trailer reaction. It was Sometimes I think else. I'm in the movie. Go ahead. I know, right? What you said when, when you watched the teaser was like, it kind of gave you a sense of the tone and all of the interesting aspects, everything that piqued your interest. This felt more like, oh, now we have to like get you really excited. So we're going to put on this music that's like really pumping to mm -hmm. get, get that feeling of excitement. And then we're going to throw well, a bunch of stuff at you. I just don't think it's that kind of movie though. Like, no, I, yeah, that's, that's, that's where I'm like, I I'm, think I'm, I, I'm not sure if that's... Quite right. I think that to me, the music is trying to compensate for a film that doesn't need to be compensated for. Yeah. It's already strong. It's already a strong thing. I think that at this point, it's like you kind of have to trust the audience and go, they get it. They they understand, like, they get why this is a good film. And it's not going to be your typical, I don't know if this is okay to say, but like your typical masala stuff. Masala. <laughs> it feels weird using that because I don't actually, I just know that that's colloquially used for describing films that are more commercial. This is obviously not commercial. And that's what I like about it though. The non-commercial stuff in India is much more interesting to me than the, the non-commercial stuff in the States. The non-commercial in the States feels like its own version of commercial. Right, you know? yeah, I understand. Whereas like India still has a truly non-commercial genre that exists. I'd like it to stay that way, if that makes any kind of sense at all. Because over here, the non-commercial stuff is like, they're, they're still like, a weird pattern it kind of follows and it's become this routine thing and now our indie film star stars like huge stars because they're that's trying a, to win oscars yeah that's, 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 i don't want to get into that tangent <laughs> what i want to say is this i want to watch this movie and if it comes out over here i'm definitely going to watch it i'm hoping that if it doesn't come out over here i can at least get a screening copy from the film company that is putting this out the director got in touch with me on facebook and so i'm hoping that through him that's a, a connection where i can at least watch this and give you guys a full-on review because 
like I've said multiple times in the last 30 seconds, like this looks really, really interesting. That and the strength of KK Minon's acting, those two things alone, I'm like, yeah, I really, really want to watch this. I guess what they're trying to do is pull in the audience that would normally only subscribe to commercial films. Right. I definitely get more of a sense of KK Minon's character in this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the breakdown. Sure. <laughs> do you know what I mean? He's gonna lose his shit, yeah. and I can't wait to see it. There was only a couple of shots in the trailer that felt like it belonged to the music, and one of them was when it was going around KK Minon on who while he's on the ground and there's all these crumpled pieces of paper oh, around yeah, no, him. Vodka yeah. And stuff. While I still stand by my belief that I disagree with the music, I like that shot a lot. There were some interesting moments because it doesn't feel like the film is overly stylized. It feels like the director took his time to get well crafted aesthetic shots. That being said, there were some cool moments in there. Like there was a shot where it's back, it goes by quick, but yeah. there's a shot where it's backing up and KK Minon's walking up to his car and the camera goes through the window and the door opens up and it's like this very seamless thing that if you're not someone like me who's looking for that kind of stuff, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't notice it. The only other time I remember seeing something like that is in an action film called The Raid 2 Redemption, I think is the subtitle to that. The camera was going through cars and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And so here was a very small version of that, but it was still cool. He's trying to do these things you don't normally see. You know that it's not being done through visual effects. They're doing things through actual on-set physical execution. It's a very interesting looking film. It's not overly saturated in colors. It's got kind of this... Bleached Yeah, that's, that's like the word muted. I'm looking for. Yeah, it's like muted colors, more yeah. bleached. Because the landscape itself is snowy, right? Yeah. So it has that kind of like lack of color that comes from being in an area that's really white. And what's very clear here is that K.K. Minon's character is really going through something. That is like really coming through without him actually saying much. It's in his face. He's wearing the burden of whatever he, he has inside. It's great that he's able to do that in this less than two minute trailer. Like I'm able to get that. I get a slight sense that maybe he's a sort of anti-hero, you know, with his like alcoholism and he doesn't seem like the type of <laughs> I was about to say like what, like what gave you that idea? The alcohol coming straight out of the bottle? Captain Obvious right here. He doesn't really come across as someone who you're like, oh, I really like you. You seem like the hero type. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? He's just kind of like, he seems a little bit gruff, a little bit grumpy, but he he's gonna get the job done and he's gonna find this murderer. He's gonna solve this mystery somehow. And especially, and the stakes have been raised even more with the kidnapping of his wife. So you know, you know what this also personal. reminds me of just a little bit is a Robin Williams Al Pacino film by Christopher Nolan called Insomnia. It's a film that not that many people saw. Christopher Nolan became a household name after Batman Begins and Memento. Memento, Memento yeah. and Batman Begins. Those are the two films that really solidified Christopher Nolan's name in people's heads. Insomnia is one that was mostly looked past as well as the magic movie he did, Prestige. Prestige. Yeah, Insomnia has a similar situation. It's set in, in an environment just like this. Al Pacino's trying to solve this crime. There's this murder guy, murderer person. <laughs> murder and, guy. And it's Robin Williams and it's an interesting film. I don't know if I could say I would recommend it, but it was definitely interesting. I'm getting like kind of remnants of that in here in a good way. Let's make this fun. You guys, if you watch the film, be sure to leave your review on Stardust and then we can include your review in our review when we do this. I would love to hear your thoughts on this film. I'm very, very curious because it's non-commercial. I'm excited for it. I want to see how this is executed. That's it for now, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out Achara Kirk on the social media and have yourself a cookie before you go to bed. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.